observe a plane that's approaching overhead and its assumed speed is 550 miles an hour. All right, so here we are. And here's a plane. And then, um, all right, so we'll draw it out here. So it's got an angle of elevation way out here. So this is 16 degrees. And none of this is drawn to scale. And then when we go here, this is um, 57 degrees. So it's traveling at 550 miles per hour. All right, so the difference here is um, one minute later, it's, it's traveled uh, after one minute of traveling 550 miles an hour. So one minute's equal to uh, 1 60th of an hour. So times 5,280 feet and one mile. You don't have to do it this way, but it, it just you get a clean number in one mile. And then uh, 550 miles per hour. So these cancel out. One hour. And this is seconds. So these cancel out. And we don't need seconds. All right, so then what we end up getting here is 48,400 feet. So the difference of time in one minute is 48,400 feet. So what we do then is, um, let's see here. All right, so this is X and this is Y. So what's going to happen now is we're going to take... Um, we want to find the elevation so it's tangent of 57 degrees is equal to um, actually this is x and this is 48,400 feet is equal to y over x. We'll make this y. And then tangent of 16 degrees is equal to y over x plus 48,400. All right, so this is just setting up two equations, two unknowns. And I'm going to type this all in. Uh, 16 degrees. There's our solution. So, um, well, we, all right. So th there's the solutions. I already got the altitude there, but so why the altitude of the planes approximately 17,054, uh, 54 feet approximately. But what would happen here is, um, you would solve for Y in this instance. So Well, you'd solve for one of these, so um, let's solve for y. So y is equal to um, tangent of 57 degrees times x, and then you would sub this in, so tangent of 16 degrees is equal to tangent of 57 degrees times x over x plus 48,400, and then once you get that in, you just plug it in back in for y in the original equation and then you should get out y is equal to this either way so okay i hope this helped you out i appreciate you watching this video and um you have yourself a fantastic day